How's everyone doing? It's Isaac Wade, and today I just wanted to make a quick video review of the U of T Pharmacy School program. There's a lot of people have been asking me about this program in real life, and I want to just have a video that I can direct people to. So if you guys don't know who I am, my name's Isaac. I'm 25 years old. I just graduated from the Doctor of Pharmacy program about one year ago, and I currently work as a community pharmacist. So what exactly is the pharmacy program? The U of T Pharmacy program is intended for those of you who want to be pharmacists. It's a four-year doctorate degree, which means that people that enter typically have a four-year bachelor's degree. Although you can enter the program earlier, for example, I came in with a three-year bachelor's degree, and I have friends that came in with only two years of undergrad completed. Once you get into the school, it's a lot like other professional programs. Pharmacy school in particular has three years of courses and one year of placements, and it all culminates in a written and verbal exam that you complete to get your pharmacy license. Now, when it comes to cost, the program is quite pricey. At U of T, I paid 20 grand per year, and these days it's probably closer to mid 20s uh, because of inflation and whatnot. Although pharmacy is considered to be a well-paying and stable profession, which means that most banks can help you out from a financial aspect. Let's move on to courses. So courses are pretty standard here. You've got five to six courses per semester, and there are really three different types of courses that I saw during my time in pharmacy school. The first type of course are very similar to courses you would have taken in undergrad, where you learn about more general concepts. These courses include biochemistry, pharmaceutics, and pharmacology. These courses are taught in more of a lecture style, and they're evaluated by midterms and exams, typically multiple choice or short answer. Now the second type of courses are my personal favorites, and these are your therapeutic courses, and they focus on specific medical conditions and what kinds of drugs or drug combinations would be ideal for different types of patients with these conditions. These therapeutic courses were evaluated again by midterms and exams mostly, uh, multiple choice and short answers again for the most part. Now the last type of course had to do with real world patient interactions, and they would typically be set in a community pharmacy and involve an actor with some type of problem that you would have to solve. Now these types of courses focus more so on communication and emotional intelligence rather than specific therapeutic things. Generally speaking, I found that they were pretty easy and myself and a lot of people that I knew could get away with winging these types of courses. But if you are someone who has difficulties with communication or emotional intelligence, these courses might be challenging for you. All in all, when it came to courses, I didn't have any issues. I actually quite liked the courses and the way that they were structured and organized. You know, when you're in a professional program, everyone's studying the same stuff. So there's usually a comprehensive set of notes available. And I'm not sure if this is allowed anymore, but when I was in pharmacy school, we would always have a really great, a really crisp set of notes that would cover everything, uh, which meant that if I wanted to go to the gym, if I wanted to sleep in, if I wanted to play video games, I could do that instead of going to lecture and it wouldn't have an impact on my grades. But if you are someone who likes going to lecture, by all means, you can go to lecture. Um, that's typically what's advised. That's what the program wants you to do. But if you're someone who misses some lectures, you can also get by as well. Now I should note that the passing grade in my year was 60%. I think this is still the case. And after passing a course, it doesn't really matter what mark you get for the most part. So it doesn't really make any sense to stress over about it too much. We've talked about courses, let's move on to faculty. Now, I don't have too much experience with faculty since I didn't really come to class very much. I didn't participate in too many extracurricular activities. However, I thought faculty was good. I didn't have any problems with them. I didn't have any negative experiences. For example, there was a situation where the preceptor that I was with um, for one of the placements I was doing, her and myself, we were just not getting along very well. And the faculty was able to accommodate me when it came to this issue and they moved me to a, a, a better fit a better placement, which I very much appreciated at the time. So really no issues with the faculty in my opinion. You know, I, I know a lot of my classmates like to complain a lot about the faculty, but I think really this is just the nature of any type of professional program. You're gonna have people complaining. All in all, I thought the faculty was good. We've talked about faculty, we've talked about courses. Let's talk about the people, which in my opinion are probably the most important part of a program. They're the people that you spend your time with, they're who you learn with, they're the people that you might even get married to. And a lot of people in my class seem to be going down that road. When it came to the people that went into pharmacy school in my year, I thought the people were just excellent. 
So by the time you're in a professional program, everyone is in their early to mid 20s or late 20s or early 30s, but everyone's a little bit more mature. There's less of that high school mentality. Uh, there's also a really great variety of people in, in my class in particular. If you're an introvert, you could find other introverts. If you're an extrovert, you could find other extroverts. If you like to work out, party, play video games, watch movies, or had any other uh, number of hobbies, you could almost always find someone that had similar hobbies who are very nice and would do them with you. It was a little bit clique in my class, but personally, I think this is something that's impossible to avoid. If you have any group of 200 individuals, they're gonna break up into smaller friend groups, and that's just that. But I did have an opportunity to socialize between friend groups, and I found for the most part, everyone was very uh, nice and respectful. So all in all, I would say when it came to the people, the people were just excellent as well. Overall, would I recommend this program to a friend? I would say that it depends. If my friend knew that they wanted to be a pharmacist and knew what pharmacy uh, consisted of, whether it be hospital, community, or industry, if that friend really enjoyed studying, and particularly uh, memorizing kind of base courses more so, if the person enjoyed talking to other people and, and communicating with people, and if the person could afford to take four years and uh, $100,000 in student payments, I would say sure, it's a good program. So anyways, thanks for watching the video, appreciate it very much. I know this video is a little bit different from the content that I usually make, but I just thought it would be interesting to talk a little bit about uh, the pharmacy program and, and sort of my experiences in the program, since it's something that I haven't really seen a lot of videos about. Did you personally do pharmacy school? Are you thinking of doing pharmacy school? Let me know in the comment section below, I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.